Well, that is county government vehicles out doing storm cleanup. That is a county vehicle parked up there off the side of the road there. That is a county vehicle as well. Has the government tag. Got a number 15 on the back of the tailgate. They are riding around looking for different types of tree limbs and stuff that has failed. Now here comes that vehicle coming down the road that's been parked up there for a little while. Here comes another one of the dump trucks. And here comes another one. They are picking up the tree limbs that has failed. Trying to do some storm cleanup after the major storm we had yesterday. Now, Eagle Nick is not able to live stream on this YouTube channel yet. All because I was holding a BB gun in my last live stream, YouTube, I would appreciate it if you would let me know how long I will be stopped from live streaming over holding a BB gun when it said at the start with that I did not get any type of strike. Yeah, y'all will not allow me to go back to live streaming all because I was holding a BB gun, which is not a firearm. I'm going to walk over here and let's see if we can't see how the creek looks like. There's still some standing water over here. You can see that the water level had came up all the way up and under the picnic tables here. But it has finally abated. Now that area out there closest to the road was probably underwater until it finally drained. Now I'm hoping my bicycle will be safe sitting here. As I said, they are still out here doing cleanup from the storm. I might have to go around this water here. I'm wearing my Crocs. Don't want to get my feet soaking wet. Here's a few little tree limbs down here. Now these big culverts they put in has did a good job to make sure that water flowed. Now, I would say that this creek was pretty full during all that storm we had yesterday. It was a major storm. As I said, there's some big old culverts, so they do a real good job of keeping the water flowing through there unless they get stopped up. You can see there's a couple of tree limbs down right here. And this one here is hanging down where it broke.
but they are doing an excellent job of going around and cleaning up the downed trees and all the falling limbs from off of the roads and from the sides of the roads as well to make sure that it does not interrupt the flow of traffic or cause any safety hazards. We have been getting a lot of major thunderstorms here lately. There's another tree limb down. Now, I don't know who it would be that would come up and actually pick these up because I don't think them fellas that picks up the garbage should have to be the ones that comes up here to pick up tree limbs. I don't know. The water is backed up a little bit right here where it drains off into the creek. Now, like I said, there is a lot of dump trucks running up and down the road. They're out here picking up all the tree limbs and the trees that fell down, cutting them down. Luckily, the playground wasn't washed out. All the mulch is still down. Now, there is no one at the park there is no children in the park before anybody was to want to say anything about Eagle Nick Audits being recording around the playground. I'm just showing how it looks after a major storm. Here is some more tree limbs down up here. Some right there as well. Some there with the brown leaves and some little small ones over here on the playground and the sidewalk. Now, as I said, it was a major storm. You can see where one part of the sidewalk here is starting to crack. And that is all because of so, so much excess water that has built up over here at times. Here's some roots that's got pulled up. Some more major cracks in the sidewalk because of the heavy rains. You know, that heavy rain gets up under there and pushes the concrete up and causes it to bust. Here's another big crack. You can see where it's broke off here at the end and cracking right here where the pipe is that's supposed to keep the water from causing it to crack. And here's another big crack. There goes another dump truck. Now you'll see the water is even causing some cracking up in here under the shed. Now that is where all the water, like I said, gets up and under the concrete and causes the concrete to bow and push up. 
And you'll see it's cracking across too. The crack goes all the way to right here where it cracked again going this way. This was from all that severe flooding, how it cracks the concrete. Now rain can do some severe damage, not just while it is falling, but after it soaks into the ground and cannot soak no more, it causes stuff like concrete to be pushed up. It is a very beautiful day today, and I hope that you all are safe after the storms. Now, Dalton Parks and Recreation Department finally came down here and killed all of them yellow jacket wasps. There's a nest right here. They killed them all. There's another small nest here. But here is a big nest in the corner, and you can see the bees here where they have killed them. There goes a county mountie riding by. Well, he's actually pulling in. He's not riding by. It would figure that I'm not able to live stream, but as I said, I can still video anyway. This is Eagle Nick, and I'm out.